Hey everybody, welcome back to In the Kitchen with Ken. Today I'm going to cook up some pierogies. We've got a Polish festival coming up next week up in Castle Haines, so I thought this week would be appropriate this week to do. What I've done is I've mashed, I've got some mashed potatoes that I've cooked, and I made my dough for my pierogies up a little earlier, and I've already kind of cut them out and everything. You can see how they are. And I've got some mushrooms that I've chopped up here, and I'm going to get these cut up a little bit more. And once I get these all chopped up really well, I'm going to add them into this pan here. I've got a little butter in there. Just going to cook these up a little bit, get them nice and moist. All right. Go ahead and start transferring these over. See how those mushrooms just sucked up all that butter. I had about a fourth of a stick of butter in there. Now that our mushrooms are cooked down a little, we're going to take them and move them over into another bowl. Then we're going to mix in a little bit of our mashed potatoes with them too. Love the smell of these mushrooms. Get some of our mashed potatoes down in here with it just enough to make a filling you want to make sure that when you do your filling for your pierogies that it's kind of cool you don't want it too hot when you're putting it down in there I'm just going to take this and mash it all up really get this mixed in here together you can see how that's all really good and good and mixed up there's a good balance of flavor to it all right, now we're going to let this cool down a little bit, then we're going to start filling up our pierogies. All right, now that we've got our mashed potatoes and mushrooms ready, we're going to start filling up some of these pierogies. What you want to start with is a little bit of pasta. You just want to wet the edges so they'll stick well. You'll put about a tablespoon of your mashed potato in here. You don't want it too full. You don't want it busting at the seams, and you'll be able to tell. You need to take out a little bit. Like I'm going to take a little bit out of this one. A little bit much. I'm just going to fold that over. Just pinch it. Make sure these edges are good and closed. All the way around. And there you go. There's our first one. All right, now that we've got all of our pierogies made up, you can see we've got them all folded up really nice and everything. We're going to take them and start putting them in water and get them boiling. Now, you'll know they're done when they float up to the top. Just want to get them in here, get a couple at a time. Get this lid on them. And we'll give them a couple of minutes there. Now, our last of our pierogies should be ready. We're going to go ahead and pull these out, start plating some of these up, and give them a try. Get a big old scoop of them. Settle down over here. Kind of cool down a little bit. Fry me right now. Take some of these that I pulled off earlier. Set them up. All right. Now on top of this, I'm gonna put a little bit of of cheese and generally you put your cheese on the inside but I kind of wanted to give it a shot just put it out here it be as melted I'm gonna cover it a little bit of melted butter just a little bit no spoonful just running across the top there now let's give this a try Get a little bit of that feta, and that butter. Mm. And that feta is amazing. Helps that flavor, that mushrooms coming through. It's really good. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed In the Kitchen with Ken this week, and I hope you give this recipe a try. We'll see you next time. Bye.